course, happy Vlogmas Day 13. I am cozied up this morning. I am just, I love my mornings. I wake up earlier so I can have them and I'm very thankful for that. Um, I spent the morning, sorry all the crackles, that's my Yule log on the TV, what's new? I'm having my Monday morning moo. Every time I drink out of this cup, I'm like, it's the morning moo, Monday moo, I don't know. A lot of people ask about this mug. It's from Bed Bath & Beyond, like a couple months ago, so hopefully you guys can still find it. I get so much joy out of drinking out of this cup. Um, so I was writing in my doing well daily the things I want to get done today. We pretty much have the whole day to ourselves, you and I, um, up until tonight around 6 o'clock. We're going on, a, I love how I'm saying we, because you and I, we're going on a staycation with Allure Beauty. Um, they have a store here in Soho, and they basically carry all the best of the best products, like all the Allure top products they carry there. It's so much fun. And they're taking me and a ton of other influencers on a staycation at the Arlo Soho Hotel. I've actually stayed in that hotel years ago, um, and I'm really excited. It's gonna be so fun. There's gonna be like some spa treatments tonight. Brooke's going, and a couple of my other friends, so I'm looking forward to that. We're recording the podcast from the hotel room tonight, which will be really, really fun. Um, so I'm really looking forward to today, but I have a lot I need to get done, so I'm going to do a lot of those things today, and also I want to work out today. So hold me to it, I want to work out today, I need to get back on my grind, and holding myself accountable with this vlog. I'm really enjoying this cozy morning, and I want to take advantage of the caffeine that's hitting me right now. I, I haven't done a lot of Christmas shopping yet. I have the full list on my phone of everything I want to get everybody, because I like kind of come up with the list throughout the year. And then the last few weeks, I'll be like, ooh, that would be good. And I've been having fun like shopping in person. I'll see something and then, and then I, in my head, I'm like, oh, I'll just order that online and ship it to Florida. Because I've never experienced this Christmas shopping, but then having to like ship somewhere else or bring home with me. So I'm still trying to navigate that. But there's a couple things that I know I want to get certain people that I'm just going to order today and send to my house in Florida because things that just make sense. Um, so I'm excited for that. I love gift shopping. It's so much fun. I also need to pack for this staycation. Nothing crazy. I'm just gonna pack a little bag. I have to do a return. So we'll see if I get that done today. I have to submit some content, finish prepping for the pod, and just all around just some random things. So I wanted to go to a coffee shop and do work, but also I love my apartment. <laughs> So we shall see. Also, I do want to highlight my TikTok. I've been really having fun with it still. Um, last night, I posted like a Sunday reset TikTok of me kind of cleaning my apartment before and afters, and I really enjoyed it. So go follow me on TikTok at Danielle underscore Carolyn. But yeah, I'm going to pull out my computer. Oh, I also need to make breakfast, and uh, we're going to Christmas shop. So that's the lay of the land. You guys know I love to do that. It's going to be a good day. Also, I've had my eye patches on for like an hour now, but they just, I love them. They make me happy. So cute. Purchase bin, chilling. It's literally 1 p.m. now. I have been sitting in front of my computer for so long. I probably should have moved to my table, but I'm just so comfy on my couch. I've been watching Vlogmases on repeat. I've watched, I'm watching Kenzie's vlog right now. I watched Margot's vlog. I watched Brooke's vlog. I watched Matilda Durf's vlog. I watched so many vlogs. I've broken into the kombucha I'm wearing. Last year's Gals on the Go merch. I love it so much. Um, I'm starting to get like antsy. I've been sitting here for too long. Family of any kind, if you are listening to this, if you're watching this, stop right now. I'm about to say some gifts. Okay, hopefully they're gone now. I got my mom a pair of leather Ugg boots because she has a pair that she has worn to the ground. Like I think there's no more um, like fluffy stuff on the inside um, and she loves them so much. She loves wearing them when she like walks the dog or just goes outside and it's getting a little chillier in Florida now. So I got her a black pair. They're technically called the Ugg snow boots, but they look, I mean, they look like Uggs. Um, so I got her that and all this stuff I'm just shipping to my house in Florida. Um, and then I got my Aunt Debbie 
Baccarat Rouge 540 because she's definitely into the finer things in life and she is so hard to shop for because she, like me, shops for herself a lot and just like knows what she likes and she returns a lot, I'll expose her. She's a big returner. Um, but I texted her, I was like, would you be open to me getting you a perfume that I think you'd really like for Christmas? And she said, yes, I'm very open to it. So hopefully she really likes the scent. Baccarat Rouge is obviously so popular right now. I love it. I always get compliments when I'm wearing it. So I got it for her, we shall see. And then for my dad, he wanted some new jeans and my mom said he needs a new belt. So I got my dad two pairs of the Levi's 501 original jeans, like a lighter wash and a darker wash. And then I got him a black belt from Nordstrom. So I created a list on my Revolve account called like my winter favorites. And these are things that I, and I'll link this below for you guys. These are things I've either purchased for the winter or things I want um, or things that I like that I think you guys would like. So I linked it on my Instagram story. You guys should check it out. I love when other people I follow do this. So I wanted to finally make one myself. Just things I have my eye on because Revolve is just so fast with shipping and it's just magical and I love other stuff. So, and it's good quality. But I'm starting to get a little hungry again. Also, <laughs> someone posted on their Instagram story like eating scrambled eggs and toast, feeling like Danielle Carolyn. It made my day one and two, I was like, is that my brand? Like eating scrambled eggs, mood. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna make some broccoli because I have some fresh in my fridge that I don't wanna go bad and you guys know I'm a hoe for broccoli. So let's go do that. I also wanna quickly shout out my pants. I got Barefoot Dreams lounge pants. I got them on Zappos. So they're the same material as like a Barefoot Dreams blanket but they're pants and they are so comfortable because I always just want that blanket wrapped around me. I also did just get the robe too for Secret Santa, but, and Margo got it for me, but I actually got the receipt from her yesterday because she got me a small, she was like, I really didn't know what size. And I kind of just wanted a little bit more oversized, so I'm gonna maybe go exchange that today. Um, so I'm excited to just wear the robe all the time, but for now, I have these Barefoot Dreams pants. I'll link them below for you guys. They so wonderful they are buttery i mean if you know the blankets these are literally the blanket in a pant so we love that oh i also had to tell you guys um i am obsessed with sex lives of college girls i watched i think six episodes yesterday back to back i fear that i'm almost done but um, i'm gonna watch them right now while i cook Ta-da, yum. All right, you guys, we're gonna do it. We're gonna work out. I just finished season one of Sex Lives of College Girls. It was so good. I was laying on the couch on my phone, procrastinating, trying to do everything I could when I knew it was time to work out. And that's why I said that in the beginning of this video, go work out, Danielle, hold yourself accountable because I really was about to just not work out and shower for the day and get my hair all good for tonight. But no, I want to build my strength. I really want to. I know you guys miss my working out content. I just haven't had the inspiration. I literally get so freaking scared and I don't know why. Like, I know why, but I just... You got to push yourself a little bit. And if I, at any point I want to stop working out, I don't feel comfortable, like, just stop. Like, that's it. But every time I go down there, I start working out and I'm like, oh my gosh, I feel so good. So, we're going to go work out. I'm not putting any sort of pressure on myself at all. I'm gonna go down there, listen to some music, and do what feels right. Maybe I'll start out with stretching. Maybe I will start out on the bike. Maybe I'll do weights. Like, I literally don't care. I don't even care how long I go down there for. I just wanna get my body moving. I also haven't been outside yet. <laughs> and the sun's going down in like an hour and a half, so. But I was about to be like, oh, but I should go outside, which I definitely should. But, and I will later, but let me work out now because then the shower routine, like there's a lot that needs to happen um, and I have to work out now in order to do so. Anyways, blah, blah, blah. I just, I'm trying to share this journey with you guys because I just, I can't, like I cannot believe a little over a year ago, I was a spin instructor and now I'm so, I don't want to go downstairs to the gym. Like what? And that's life when things happen. I just like, I'll get there. I'm gonna get there. I said, mark my words, spin Danny is coming back and she is. The Peloton thing was a minor setback for me. I can't lie, it freaked me out. But their 48 hour turnaround commercial made me feel better. <laughs> Not actually, but like it just freaked me out a little bit, okay? Um, so yeah, I don't know if anyone else is feeling like this, but we're gonna work out now. 
Here is the workout fit. I've been really into these high socks, as you guys know. This top I've had forever, but it just kills the game for working out, especially for spin and stuff, where you just need some high coverage. Lululemon, we love it. These leggings are from Pure Velo. It's the spin studio I instructed at, and I love these leggings so much. They are the perfect high waist. They're so soft, so comfortable. And then these sneakers, love them. Nike Zoom, I think. I'll link them below. Maybe not the Zoom. I forget what they're called. And then just got a tote bag with my water bottle, my phone, my AirPods. I got stuff. Ah, let's go. I pray no one else is in there. It's just such a better vibe when I'm in there alone. Also, yes, this is a really weird thing, but I have been into having a sparkling water with me while I work out too. I don't know. It's very refreshing and soothing. I don't know. Judge me. today I went and got some fresh juices and I decided to get one for Ryan too I know he hasn't left his apartment today and I haven't seen him so perfect little excuse I just got two juices with kale spinach apple and then oh and cucumber and then I added lemon and ginger so they're really good and it feels good to be outside this little jacket's from Wilson I'm obsessed with it I got it last week when I went to the store and yeah, so I think he's on a meeting because I called and he declined it right away, which usually means he's on a meeting. So this will be a funny encounter, but you know, just trying to be fun. I fully had a gut feeling that Ryan was doing something important and he was on a very important meeting. So I didn't want to bother. I'm pretty sure it's a video. I'm just going to put this in the fridge for now, but that poor boy does not get out of his apartment on the weekdays. And I always love treating the people I love, so... That will go in there for now. Ah, the best combo. Ginger shot. We're gonna, I think I've tried this brand before. Ginger. This says it's organic ginger and lemon. Ooh, that smells good. It smells fresh. Cheers, guys. You know the drill. Whoo, <laughs> ah. that feels great. And that is a true burn. Oh, wow. Wait, guys, I am so excited. I'm obsessed with coats right now, and they're definitely needed in New York. I just got two coats in from Mango, fully inspired by Kenzie, Kenzie Elizabeth. She has this one, I think. Maybe she has this one, too, but I saw her wearing this one, and I had to have it. It's technically navy blue, but it honestly looks pretty black to me. I wanted a black one, and I also got it in tan. I'm going to try it on. Um, to show you guys, it's just the perfect long coat. I loved how it wrapped. This jacket is from Mango or Coat. Should I say this is a coat? And I've never, ever, I don't think ever once purchased anything from Mango. Um, how does this work? It's got all kinds of. But when I was on their website, they had so many cute coats. Like, and they're like pretty fair price. Um, you know for a nice coat, so I was just really happy. Oh Okay, don't mind the blue sports bra underneath, but like This is serving Like if I didn't have the sports bra on right now, this would look so cute with the high socks and the sneakers Like a turtleneck or like a different colored workout top. I Love this. I will link it below for you guys as you saw I also got it in that dark navy color, but but this is so cute and it's nice and roomy so I can layer underneath. I love it. I have been waiting for this. Turn it up. I've been waiting for this to come in the mail because I was just so excited. I just feel like so chic walking in my little coat, you know? So, had to show you guys. <laughs> All right, I've had a lot of chaotic energy in the last hour. I was gonna take a shower. Oh, I did take a shower but like wash my hair, do the whole nine yards. And I realized I only had an hour to like style, blow dry, wet hair and I just didn't wanna do it. And I'm sincerely obsessed with being able to put my hair up again because wow. And if you guys don't know, I um, like we placed my extensions differently so that I can like put it up and they're thinner and they're just, I'm really happy and my hair colors 
a lot and it's just so nice especially during the winter to have your hair out of your face so and then i just love i literally made an instagram caption about this like the confidence you get from putting your hair in a sleek bun or claw clip or whatever and gold hoops like in a sweat set it's just unmatched um so i just got ready the staycation is starting at the allure store and then we are from there going to the arlo soho hotel checking in and then going to dinner which i assume is also the hotel and then like beauty skincare services at the hotel with like the brands and i think in the morning we're going to the allure store again for breakfast so very exciting very fun but i just like didn't know what to do i was like throwing a ton of stuff like i overpacked like i'm staying for a night this is my go-to outfit lately i love this fit i was gonna wear like a more casual fit to the store and then change to the hotel but i just couldn't find the perfect casual fit and i brought more options for nighttime as well because i'm crazy um so i'm just gonna wear this to the store with a coat over top the brown one i'm so excited this top is from Revolve. I love it. It's sold out. I was going to link it and it's sold out. And the pants, guys, are also sold out. I'm so sad because these are literally my favorite. Hopefully, they'll restock and I will keep you guys posted if they do. Earrings are from Studs. Uh, and then my black Zara booties. And then I want to see what that coat looks like over top because I feel like it'll be a perfect little casual vibe. All right. Yep. This is it. This is the look. I love it. I just love it because like you don't really know what I'm wearing underneath either. So it's like a totally different look. And then to dinner, I could, you know, wear it like this and take it off when I sit down. But there's a strong chance I'll change for dinner. I brought a different shirt just in case. And then like I told you guys, I totally overpacked. But I just got this tote bag from Baze or Baze um, off of Revolve. It's Shea Mitchell's like luggage brand. But I love this. It's just like a huge tote bag and it fits a ton of stuff in it. And there's two different um, length straps. I'll link it below for you guys. I got off of Revolve. Staycation, don't text. And then I'm just bringing my tote bag with my computer, my like actual purse, water bottle, just random overnight needs. So funny. I'm literally going like 10 minutes down the road, but you know, gotta be prepped. And we have the podcast mics in there too. So. Let's go on a staycation. The night begins. We're at the Allure store right now, and she just gave me this like really cool. She was like, "We're going editorial." I think it's very editorial. Goes with your outfit, I think. Yeah, she was like, "Are you wearing this tonight?" And I was like, "I guess I am now. Let's do it." And Brooke just got her hair done. I do my hair every day. Like, damn, I feel like Matilda, my is right that you? I am my mother right now. What you are your mom. Like oh my god, like the blowout look. <laughs> room tour oh my gosh this is so cool it's christmas morning polaroid should we take oh it's nice and cold in here i know i love it a little fridge stop this is so huge oh oh my gosh brooke there's more wow your oh, favorite loops <laughs> guys robes with our initials that is so sweet we love a, a robe oh my it's like hair. it's christmas hair, hair. um Bare Necessities lip gloss bundle. iPads, iPads, oh, we have to use these. tonight or tomorrow. <laughs> I think we should do a whole spa night tonight. Oh, I'm interested. Babe Lash. Some... I love Babe Lash. <laughs> got a Polaroid with some film. We got to take some cute pics tonight yeah. in the room. Amore Pacific. I can literally hear Davis's laugh know, next I door. Love I He's love so, it. Davis so and Audrey are our neighbors. <gasps> oh, Chocolate. Oh, I thought it said Danielle and Brown. <laughs> No, this is what Rob does. That's freaking cute, though. I know. Everything. We're so grateful. We'll be back next week. <laughs> Thank, you, Thank you, New York. All right, guys. It is now like 3 a.m. We were in Davis and Audrey's room talking all night. Literally such a good conversation. It ended up just being me, Brooke, Davis, and Lauren. Like, literally talking for so long. It was so fun. Good belly laughs. Such good people. Such good people. Um, my mask is getting more and more um, discombobulated as I speak, but it's like an aluminum, aluminum foil, silver foil mask. Silver that they, bells. Silver bells. <laughs> Do, Do not, not come. come. <laughs> 
guys, did I tell you it's literally so late? Davis is probably so <laughs> annoying next door. 3.35, We've, we're eating chocolate. Oh, we gotta take a Polaroid. Yeah. Yeah. I still have my clothes for the day. <laughs> we're being literally so random. Literally. literally. Um, so this mask is falling off at this point, but ooh, I look like a moisturized queen. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I love you guys so much. Tomorrow's another fun day. We're waking up at the hotel, and then we're going to get some more, ooh, it's so smooth. Um, we're going to- <laughs> Hello, smooth. Um, we're going to get some more beauty services and breakfast. <laughs> Good night, guys. I love you so much, and I will see you tomorrow for the second to last day of Vlogmas.